Brooks Lee, the Minnesota Twins first round pick in this year's draft, made his full season debut with the Cedar Rapids Colonels, struck out in his first plate appearance, make it for a very first pitch in the field that he gets a ball hit toward him. But I think that was his only defensive chance of the evening. Uh, playing shortstop there, you see, uh, makes the throw on over, takes a walk in his second plate appearance, gets his first hit for the Colonels in his third plate appearance, a nice line drive into the outfield for a single, very well-struck ball. You know, my eye test, I think that was 140 mile per hour exit velo. Is what I, I got on that one. I don't know what you guys calibrate to, but that's what I'm saying. He looks at strikes, a terrible call. But clearly, that was a foot out of the zone. I mean, you, this is the a great camera angle to judge that from, I think. And then maybe the greatest defensive play of all time prevents him from putting the Colonels up. Uh, in the 10th inning, and they end up losing on a walk-off walk. Um, Maybe the most minor league way to lose a baseball game. I don't know. Uh, anyway, so Brooksley, the debut's out of the way. You know, that's you know that's my opinion on debuts. They're, they're there to get out of the way, and now we can kind of move forward. Ronnie Henriquez here with the Saints. He threw three and two-thirds no-hit innings, struck out two batters. He's been pitching quite well of late for the Saints, he has a 3.49 ERA in 28 and a third innings since the start of July. Um, much, much better than his year-to-date numbers. And we're going to talk about a couple guys that kind of have that going on. But Matt Walner made a very nice defensive play behind Henriquez in the field. A nice diving, sliding catch. Uh, he had another rough night at the plate. The Saints won two to nothing. And Evan Sisk, we got to see him face three left-handed hitters, which is a very a big treat. Uh, entering t- tonight, entering tonight, left-handed hitters had a 290 OPS against Evan Sisk. 290 OPS. That's amazing. Moving on over to Wichita, Cody Lawyerson. Uh, this guy pitches like he's 10 feet tall. Um, he started tonight for Wichita. Three innings, three shutout innings, four hits. He now has a 0.92 ERA in triple double A, excuse me. Uh, those four strikeouts. I misspoke there. But he's a guy who really just puts it all out there, um, pitches with a lot of moxie. He's very fun to watch and very deceptive with that delivery. Blaine Enlow also pitched in this game. Two innings, he struck out four batters. Did allow an earned run, but he is pitching much better of late as well. Enlow has a 1.89 ERA in 19 innings pitched since the start of July. So he's really coming around. And, you know, speaking of kind of mound presence, it kind of feels like he's back to where he was uh, you know, when he was with the Colonels before he hit, blew out his elbow, had to have Tommy John uh, kind of carrying himself more confidently. You see him s- snapping off some really good curveballs in this one. So he pitched very well. Looking good. And Fort Myers, they lost today, unfortunately, 9-5. Uh, to five. Not a ton to report on in this one either, but Tanner Schobel, who is another draftee from this year, was 2-4 for four with a walk. Uh, so nice to see him getting his pro career off to a nice start as well. Again, not a whole lot to mention on the pitching side. Uh, here's a rundown. The Saints were the only team that won today in the system. Well, the Twins are in progress. Again, we've got these games out in L.A. Uh, just can't stay up late enough to both finish the game and the video, but I'm recording this while they're up 3-2 to two because Jorge Polanco hit an awesome home run, you know, a big home run with two strikes, two men on, a three-run homer, uh, but just, just beautiful baseball aesthetic here of him enjoying the view of that home run and the pitcher just... Uh, slumping over so hopefully the twins can add to that lead and hang on but thank you so much for watching this probably talk about that game some more tomorrow so come on back